Ciao everybody! Today's topic is introduction to Italian. Okay, uh, let's learn some uh, very basic expressions in Italian like who are you and where are you from by this somewhat weird conversation between the two famous brothers Mario and Luigi uh, both of whom happen to come from Italia reportedly <laughs> okay ciao chi sei? Mario says ciao Mario io sono Luigi Luigi says and uh, okay ciao is it just ciao if you already know this word uh, ciao is the uh, very most uh, elemental and famous Italian word meaning hi or bye so uh, both uh, both cases in which uh, you see someone or and uh, cases in which you uh, live somewhere or someone uh, you always say ciao or ciao ciao or ciao 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 yeah repeatedly uh, uh, as as many as, as many times as you want okay ciao 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 he say he say is who are you uh, precisely he is who uh, a point in caution is that uh, in Italian uh, the uh, the series the phonemic the series of letter C and H uh, is pronounced uh, K when followed by E or A Ki and Ke uh, so Ki means who and additional Ke means uh, that or what but this is not included in today's main topic. Yeah. Ki and ke. So who and uh, you uh, you may think if ki is who, uh, then uh, and the only left word is say, then one is lacking. Isn't it the case? No, absolutely no, because uh, say corresponds to, in a sense, you and R at the same time, uh, because the form say itself indicates that the subject is you. Uh, let me explain in more detail after looking at the second sentence which is by Luigi Ciao Mario, io sono Luigi Yeah, ciao is the, uh, the same and ciao Mario, io sono Luigi uh, So uh, you guess, uh, io sono Luigi that means I am Luigi and as you see, yeah there are three words, three words, perfect, three words, no problem at all. I am Luigi, no difficulty at all. Uh, each word corresponds to a word in English. But you can, you may omit io. Why? 
Yeah, the same, the reason is the same as, a, as, already, as I already mentioned about, say, uh, this uh, <coughs> precisely Okay, let us elaborate on this matter. Uh, the, um, the, uh, so, uh, say and the sono are the same verb uh, with different forms because of the difference in the person or number of the subject. And uh, just, just like am, um, and are in English. And in English, am um, and are have uh, the common uh, infinite, uh, a common finite, common uh, infinite, infinite verb B. Uh, uh, just like that in Italian as well, uh, say and sono has have the same, the shared uh, verb, uh, infinitive form, essere, essere is the infinitive form, infinite form, or the dictionary form of this, say and sono. Um, and then, uh, just like am and are in English are are first uh, first singular and the first um, first first person singular and the second person singular forms of uh, B respectively in Italian say uh, uh, say is the uh, second second person singular form and sono is the first person uh, singular form and uh, the personal pronoun is optional in Italian this is a major difference between Italian and English because in English, as you know, uh, the personal pronoun is nearly obligatory uh, and normally, in normal cases, you have to say I am Luigi rather than I'm Luigi. Right? <laughs> am I correct? Uh, I'm Luigi. No, rather, I am Luigi. But in Italian, I'm Luigi is possible. Uh, that is, sono Luigi is possible. Um, why? Beca why? Because uh, the form itself uh, signals the subject. Uh, to support further uh, this remark, uh, let me show you the whole paradigm of essere, sono, say, e, uh, first, uh, singular first person, second person, third person forms, and plural forms, uh, Italian has, are, siamo, uh, what, what ugly, uh, siamo, Siete, sono. So the only difference you find, uh, I the only uh, identical set is the uh, first person uh, singular and third person plural set. Set. Yeah. Uh, this. Uh, this pair, this set, is the only uh, pattern uh, showing the same form despite the difference in uh, person or number. 
Uh, but um, in other places, uh, the forms are fairly different uh, between each other. Um, and, uh, and only in rare cases, uh, there is a confusion uh, as to uh, whether the uh, subject is first person singular or third person plural. Uh, so overall, personal pronoun is not necessary as the forms themselves uh, signal uh, what is the uh, uh, for, uh, which values of a person or number the subject has. Yeah, of course, when the subject is expressed as a uh, free noun, what free noun phrases, uh, rather than by pronouns, then the story is different. But uh, when the subject is expressed by means of personal pronouns, the personal pronouns are opt to drop. Yeah. Just, uh, just to use the when when one when one wants to uh, emphasize the subject with regard to the uh, number of person, and when uh, one wants to uh, explicitly differentiate uh, this one and this one. Yeah. Yeah. Overall. Yeah, in yeah, more often than not, personal pronouns are dropped, uh, like here, or like here, the next sentence by Mario. Did Dobe say? Did Dobe say? Yeah, say is this day the same. So, so if you want, you can. You can insert uh, to uh, here or here. The dobe say. Uh, uh, likewise, you uh, you you may say uh, ki to say or ki say to instead of just uh, ki say. And the position of uh, the uh, subject pronoun is uh, freer than in English. Uh, free or flexible, uh, meaning that uh, he mm, the the dobe to say uh, the dobe to say and the dobe say to uh, both are possible. Uh, and uh, as well as uh, he, uh, he to say and he say to are equally possible. Um, but a point in caution is that uh, he he to say he say he say to this seems more uh no more the dobe say to and this is a uh, the uh more normal than this than this okay uh so <laughs> then what does uh, the dobe mean are uh, you you may be uh, sorry you may be impatient to ask to know that yeah, the dobe the dobe say this whole entity means where are you from where are you from yeah so so which part is which part as i already say uh said uh, say uh, is uh you are or are you 
So the remnants are D and Dobe. Hmm. Yeah, just like in English, Italian has prepositions. Prepositions like uh, of or from or in. And this D is uh, the uh, preposition uh, meaning of or from. So uh, the only left Dobe is where. Yeah. Mm. And the dobe so means uh, from where, mm. of where or from where. Uh, mm. Although in English you say where are you from, uh, putting from uh, at the end of the sentence uh, in normal cases, in Italian, uh, the uh, preposition corresponding equivalent to from that is the comes at the beginning of the sentence normally the dove say hmm, where are you from yeah an important sentence Luigi says sono di Milano e tu yeah uh, Sono di Milano e tu? Uh, to, uh, frankly speaking, I, I exactly don't know where our future cities uh, 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 these uh, men, Mara and Luigi, come from. Uh, just knowing uh, they, are, they are from Italy, uh, uh, reportedly. Uh, so, uh, they, uh, obviously, <laughs> This whole conversation is uh, like uh, fictional, in a sense, uh, unless uh, these two Mar uh, Mario and Luigi are fakes, <laughs> not real. <laughs> uh. and okay, so no di Milano. Ah, uh, so you it must. It must be that you now understand the meaning of Sono di Milano without my explanation. <laughs> mm, yeah. yeah, of course you can understand, right? Exactly. Sono di Milano means I am from Milan. Yes. So. Here as well, the the verb son or essere mm, is used uh, to say I am. Mm. And of course, um, the first person singular pronoun io may be used here, but uh, but in this case, uh, io will come in the beginning. Uh, so here. Io. Uh, rather than other places. Uh, sono di Milano io. Um, but uh, I guess, um, I suppose sono di Milano io uh, is uh, fairly possible. Mm. Sono di Milano io. Or, io sono di Milano. Mm. Uh, inversion is widespread in Italian more than in English, in, in some sense. Okay. Io sono di Milano, or sono di Milano. E tu? Mm. Okay. E tu? Uh, can you guess the meaning of this? sentence composed of the uh, shortest Italian words uh, one syllable, one syllable mm. two is uh, uh, nothing but the uh, second person singular Personal subject pronoun. Yeah. 
要素の to say meaning that you ah <笑> gosh I've already said I've already mentioned this word、uh, what, a, what a disaster I, I didn't、uh, realize that I,、uh, my, my memory went my memory has gone somewhere okay yeah how ridiculous so, so, yeah Yeah, yeah, you can see too. Yeah. So you, you can tell that to meaning you. To means you.、Hmm. Then, e、eh. is exactly. And.、Hmm. And you.、Hmm. So, e、eh、is the、uh, coordinate,、uh, coordinate conjunction. Uh, equivalent to and in English, and the usage of a and English and are in are in many places shared,、uh, like in this and you and you、uh, too.、Mm. Okay, then Mario answers. Io vengo da Roma. Io vengo da Roma.、Huh. Uh, here uh, you, you see some new words.、Uh, precisely uh, uh, two new words.、Uh, unless you don't know Rome.、Uh, yeah, of course you do, right? Yeah, Roma. Or Rome, yeah, the capital city of Italy.、Hmm. And Io is,、uh, yeah, here, <laughs> yeah, this time I remember that, yeah, Io already appeared. I,、hmm. I, Rome.、Uh, so the elements between them, vengo da, vengo,、hmm. vengo is the verb meaning come. Uh, precisely speaking,、uh, because、uh, ah, precisely speaking, Bengo is the first person singular form of the verb meaning come because yeah, the subject is io.、Hmm. I come and da, da is、uh, yeah, apparently similar to di. And indeed, the meaning is also similar. The,、uh, the is、uh, much more like from than the. Yeah, the yeah, overall, overall in, in,、uh, yeah, in several cases,、uh, yeah, the means from.、Mm. So I come from Rome. Uh, Lengo. Okay. Lengo. Okay, now、uh, let me show you、uh, the whole paradigm of the verb come as well,、uh, like I did about S. Well, the Uh, in finite form, where the dictionary form of vengo is venire. Yeah, quite unpredictable. Yeah, right.、Mm, venire. Yeah, in, it, it is. Indeed,、uh, unpredictable because venire is a verb with uh, uh, irregular uh, paradigms, just like yesterday.、Hmm. Uh, this will be clarified more、uh, after you learn more verbs in Italy and Italian.
uh, because uh, there, are, there are many regular verbs as well. Yeah. Benire. Luis is somewhat in the way. So move this way. Benire. Io vengo. Um, well, uh, because this is the uh, first lesson, uh, uh, at, at least uh, uh, it suffices for you to uh, memorize uh, the first person singular form today. Mm. Um, but I, but I write uh, the whole paradigm. Anyway, yo vengo to vieni. Eh, viene. Hmm. Uh, viene is the a third person uh, singular form. Uh, he comes or she comes. Why well, it comes? Vengo vieni viene e veniamo venite vengono. Hmm. These three. Yeah, you yeah you can guess right. Um, yeah, the plural forms. First person, second person, third person, plural forms. Okay. Yeah. Now today, uh, I just just learn uh, learn by heart. Then go if uh, uh, if if you uh, don't have uh, more rooms of memory or energy today. Mm. Okay. Then uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what that is a preposition as well. Io vengo da Roma. So, uh, the, uh, the point uh, in caution, uh, I'd like to mention now is the, the fact that uh, mm, when, you, when you say, uh, where are you from? Or I'm from uh, blah blah blah. Uh, SRM I must be combined with D, whereas venire uh, must be combined uh, with da, but not on the contrary. Hmm. Sono di Milano. It's okay, but sono da Milano. That's no good. Likewise, vengo da Roma is okay, but vengo di Roma is no. Hmm. Okay, to recapitulate the expressions about the about the origins of people. Uh, Uh, look at here. Be from uh, uh, can be expressed in Italian by two two ways. One, uh, essere di. The second is. Uh, Yes, venire da. Okay. Okay, let us learn these two ways of saying one's origins today. Be 
here and not not to be confused okay okay the conversation still continues hmm. yeah Luigi says tutti noi siamo d'Italia tutti noi di tutti noi siamo d'Italia okay here you here as well you see some uh, new words uh, let us put aside tutti now and uh, let us uh, notice noi noi ah uh, noi is followed by siamo and what is siamo you already saw it Ta -da 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 -dum. here yeah, siamo. What is siamo? Yeah, because siamo is found in this place of the paradigm. Uh, this is first person. Uh, no, uh, yeah, yes, first person plural. And yeah, so we are. What are we? And this, uh, what is, what does it means it means that noi is right we the plural first person form subject pronoun <laughs> wait i i mis i mistakenly wrote we <laughs> this is an italian lesson not english lesson noi uh, Noi siamo. Mm. So as you guess, noi is uh, omittable as well. Noi siamo d'Italia. And uh, also you can say siamo d'Italia noi as well. Oh, okay, the, so the uh, riddle here was so good uh, and, and of course ah siamo siamo d'Italia uh, it is uh, also easy to see that uh, the, these uh, hidden here are uh, easy yeah <laughs> mm, uh, d'Italia this is a phonologically one word uh, but grammatically this entity uh, is decomposed into D uh, and Italia and uh, uh, since uh, the uh, the word governed by this preposition Italia is uh, uh, has a uh, uh, vowel in the initial part in, as the init initial uh, for the uh, final vowel of D and the uh, initial vowel of Italia are, are fused or more technically speaking causes the phenomenon uh, elysium uh, so connected Italia pronounced as Italia hmm. yeah this yeah this is much more normal than the Italia hmm. and, and yeah this phenomenon is uh, not confined here but uh, uh, attested in almost every case when uh, prepositions like D and uh, vowel beginning word are combined yeah okay so uh, now that we know the preposition D is uh, 
hidden here you see that uh, this Asiamo uh, d'Italia is, uh, is a manifestation uh, based on this one. Yeah, the first means to say be from essere di. Essere di uh, blah blah place. Venire da blah 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 place. Okay, now it is very clear that Siamo d'Italia means uh, we are from Italy. Hmm. Uh, noi meaning we is optional, yeah, as already said. So the remaining word unexplained here is tutti. Uh, tutti means everybody. Yeah. So, so in many cases, uh, not, not in this case, a uh, is a third person, plural. Um, so, like to the so no Italia. Meaning every everyone everyone are, everyone is from Italy. Yeah. yeah. Tutti is a plural third person. Um but in this case uh yeah the verb and the personal pronoun optional is uh, are First person plural, first person, not third person. Yeah, uh, despite uh, the fact that to is uh, uh, put placed here, to the to the noi. Yeah, to the noi means every every of us. Every of us are, every of us is uh, from Italy. Si, hmm. esatto. Si, esatto. Hmm. Says Mario. Uh, do you know si? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a, uh, uh, as a famous Italian word uh, as a ciao. I suppose. Mm, yeah, C is a yes, right? Mm, C. Uh, yeah, also used in some other Romance languages uh, as well. C, esatto. And, uh, esatto. Can you guess the meaning of uh, esatto by the form and by the situation? Um, tick, 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 ding, exactly, yeah, esatto means exactly, although uh, phonologically more similar to exact rather than to exactly. Um, but to be more precise, uh, esatto uh, may have uh, both meanings, uh, may express both uh, exact and exactly. Yeah, esatto. Mm. 
So, yes, exactly. Hmm. Also, uh, uh, to be more detailed, uh, Esatto has a, a dedicated uh, adverbial form, Esattamente. Hmm. Esattamente is just exact meaning that you can say esattamente instead of esatto here. Hmm. Si, esattamente. Si, esatto. Yeah, but I guess esatto is uh, a somewhat more common. Yeah. Uh, very diffusive. Uh, yeah, but yeah, although esattamente is also widespread used. Yeah. Perfetto. Perfetto. Uh, I guess the meaning? Hmm. Yeah, this is uh, even easier than is that or no? <laughs> Perfect. Yes, right. Perfect. Perfetto. Yeah, one word. Just perfect. Parfait en français, in French. Okay. Um, so we reviewed every part of the whole conversation yeah, between the two famous brothers, Mario and Luigi. Mm. The verb essere and its mm, paradigm, conjugational conjugation. Mm. Uh, uh, this, yeah, so this was the first lesson of my Italian uh, introduction and, mm, and today uh, you, yeah, please, please recognize these forms, uh, yeah, at least the conjugation forms. Uh, if, if, you, if you can do more, uh, re also recognize uh, the personal pronoun subject forms uh, io, to, and noi which appeared at uh, today's conversation uh, if you want to know more uh, uh, for third person singular lui and lei are the uh, subject pronouns uh, Lui is uh, he and uh, Lei is uh, she. Uh, siamo no, uh, noi siamo. Uh, voi siete. Loro sono. Mm. We are. You guys are. They are. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, the same applies to the case of venire. Okay. And uh, yeah, as for venire, uh. If you don't have much room today, uh, uh, it is sufficient to recognize vengo, the first person singular form. Yeah, and uh, hmm, okay, then uh, you may find that uh, Italian verb conjugations are too complex. How? To how am I able to recognize all of them or something like that? Mm. Yeah, but tranquilo or yeah, don't worry, don't worry because uh, essere and venire are both irregular verbs <laughs> meaning that not every verb in Italian is like this. Rather, the mm, and the majority of uh, the Italian verbs have um, somewhat easier conjugation or paradigm mm. than these two. Basic, very basic verbs. 
yeah and because and because these are very basic verbs very much of used mm. so anyway you you will have to memorize these you know, two basic paradigms um, and also to, uh, to add one one thing more uh, yeah in in the case of venire the forms are totally different yeah, with each other uh, so even uh, even more than yesterday mm. so here you you can recall uh, the fact that uh, personal subject pronoun are optional in Italian yeah that is why I wrote a parenthesis mm. in, in everywhere Ah, so uh, in practical terms, yeah, let us memorize the two ways of expressing be from uh, blah blah place. Es ready and venire da. And uh, <clears throat> according to the subject, according to the person and the number of the subjects, uh, don't forget that you have to. Uh, conjugate uh, the verbal parts, the verbs mm, into sono, say, eh, siamo, set, or sono, uh, or uh, if you use venire da, into vengo, vieni, vieni, veniamo, venite, vengono. Mm. Okay, yeah, so yeah, this, this form, vestre and venire are. Uh, yeah, infinite forms. Yeah, you have to conjugate hmm, in almost every case in which you use these expressions. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Uh, so, at least if you recognize, uh, if you memorize uh, this paradigm, this SL paradigm and the SLD then you will be able to yeah, say where are you from or I'm from or you are from or yeah, we are from or yeah, something like that okay, and uh, yeah, and it's uh, e even uh, even nicer if you uh, look, uh, look at yeah, the, these parts uh, the left, uh, left parts, uh, the, uh, the complemental information. Interesting. Okay. Today's lesson is over. This way. Okay. I feel like yeah, today's last lesson. I will do the uh, succeeding. Parts, like the, the second lesson and third lesson in this way or in, uh, in a better way uh, uh, so yeah please subscribe and uh, click on like yeah if you liked today's uh, video well, today's lesson uh, okay yeah, that's it today. Yeah, that's it today. <laughs> yeah, ciao, ciao. Ciao, ci vediamo. Ciao.